her opponent from this match. Weighing 136 pounds from Matamoros, Mexico, La Serenita. Harold Harris, the referee. A cup of this edition of Wild West Wrestling. And next week on our Wild West Wrestling program, we've got a great six-man tag team main event. John Tatum, Jack Victory, and the Outlaw next week right here on Wild West Wrestling. As you're watching, the young Mexican girls got two from Mexicali, La Serenita from Matamoros. Billy Bob's Texas. We'll be on here there Tuesday. And here's a gentleman stepping up here to join us for this bout, the president of Wild West Wrestling, Ken Mantel. It's good to see you here. Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And it's uh, what a night here at uh, Billy Bob's, the uh, wrestling, the excitement, the, the closeness. It's just a, a great evening. It's a very personal relationship between the, uh, the bouts, the wrestlers, and this great, I guess you call it a hall, this great area of fun and amusement that is Billy Bob's. It sure is, Bill. A lot of action going on in the ring. These are two young ladies that uh, came here to uh, Billy Bob's to make a name for themselves, and they're going right after it. Got to Vera, the cat girl, and she is ripped across by La Serenita. You know, one of the things that very quickly Wild West Wrestling has found is uh, an exciting building battle, and that's Lance and Iceman King Parsons, which was an interesting uh, startup. Sometimes you... You put people into a bout and they uh, get mad at each other and have a fight. But here was something that didn't even relate. Iceman lost that under disqualification. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, he took a lot, a lot of ribbing about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, along, around the locker rooms and around the world. What a move. I want you to watch, Look Bill. These what, girls can really move. What a move. You talk about athletic ability now. They are on one another. But you're right. Uh, it was a great... Uh, bruise of the ego for uh, Iceman King Parsons. Yes, and, uh, but Iceman took it personally, and you know where it's led to. Uh, it's gone from just hurt feelings now to Iceman having uh, the fabulous Lance held and slapping him and beating, banging on him and uh, hurting him, and uh, there's going to be some dues to be paid. While we're watching these two really outstanding girls from Mexico, and they, as we said, the great moves, and they are tough, just tough as uh, old shoe leather. They battle each other and uh, give no quarter. It's sort of an international flavor. Now, Wild West wrestling, as we said, is sort of a, uh, a synonym for a particular part of the world. But Wild West wrestling is really something of this country because the West started when this country started right on the East Coast and just moved a little farther toward the extreme corner of the West. But we are uh, very international with these two Mexican girls, Gatu Vera. And La Serenita, we're also seen in St. Croix Virgin Islands on WSVI and Carolina Puerto Rico at WSJU. So around the world, across the West and across the nation, here we come, Wild West Wrestling. Go West, go Wild West, Bill. You know that's true, and although the show is called Wild West Wrestling, it does not refer to just the West. There's a Wild West atmosphere, a Wild West spot in every city, every town. That's right. Somewhere there was a western frontier that's in right. every city. That's right. Boston had the, was it, was it the right at the edge of the west? That's right. That's sure, yeah. And I'd hate to have to walk all that way in those days. <laughs> nice leg move. These, you know, these girls are very agile, Bill, and they know they're wrestling. They're, they're wearing one another down, going for the pin. This is a, this is a good match. A strong girl. Oh, what a drop. Pound for pound, you know, they're probably as strong as most of the guys. One, two. Oh, just missed it. She got a shoulder up just in time. Got to Vera. Got to. Gato is the uh, male name for that uh, for the cat. <laughs> One, not two, not quite three. And got to Vera and La Serenita. Battling on really even terms here. Here comes La Serenita. High in the air. She dies. This might do it. One, two, no. Got two Vera shoves her off. I don't know how she managed to do that. La Serenita taking this bow to her. Now Got two Vera is going to try to come back. Shot across the chest. Quite a shiver. You know, pound for pound now, Bill. That's the equivalent of what we just saw with Laddie, his massive body uh, taking out the, the new spoiler. Suplex. 
Duplex, same moves, and, and pound for pound, they feel it just like we do the men. Count of two again, and got to Vera, shoved uh, La Serenito off there. Yeah, 132 pounds going like this in a full match. A lot of dynamite. Put in a bear hug and drop. Got to right on the back of her head. Now, what, now watch this now, Bill. She's going for a... This is a high-pressure move. This is putting pressure on the back of her neck, her shoulders, her arms. And uh, she just got to just kicked it off enough to come out of it without a submission. A tremendous hole. These girls have shown us some holes you have seen on a regular basis. In the corner, shot right in the neck. Another shiver in there. And got to Vera is trying to pick up the momentum now. Comes the cat girl. And Serenita steps into a foot. Watch, got to Vera. A springing. Up to the top rope. Right high, risk, top. high risk move. Oh, she missed it. Here comes La Serenita. Reverse chin. Pulling her back. And she makes the cat girl submit. She gave us. 